Welcome back to AWE TV. I'm Mark Heiser, and with me is Doug Magyari, CEO of IMI. Doug, thanks for joining us. You sure. guys are exhibiting here at AWE. It's your first year here. You come to HMDs with uh, a, a background. You, you have a history of uh, creating HMDs as a user, but there's, there's a little bit more passion behind it all, right? Oh, yeah. Tell me about that history. Yeah. So I was actually here five years ago as a, on a panel. Okay. Uh, we've been in this business a long time, but we've been very quiet uh, doing what we're doing. And um, we have a rather unique approach uh, to the whole product category. And um, the, our background really comes from uh, being users, as you're saying. Yeah. And we worked in a special area which is called immersive training. Immersive training. So that you block out the world, you take over somebody's eyes and their ears, and you can do really remarkable stuff. Yeah. And, um, but when we were doing that, which was back in the late 90s and 2000, 2001, the products were pretty poor. And so I own a research and development facility. And so we decided that we should build a good one. Uh -huh. And so really from the ground up, we built a human-centric making meaning you as the wearer, the user, the number one priority for every decision based on that thing. Mm -hmm. and, and putting paramount consideration on eye safety, eye comfort, mm -hmm. human safety, and human comfort. Yeah. And uh, so, uh, you know, that's critical from our perspective. And having, uh, there's the way that looking at human physiology and how our brain works and the visual cortex works, when you occupy only a limited amount of your view, the brain processes that as I'm watching something. Yeah. When you add, and, and that is anywhere from 10 degrees to 30 degrees, as you get into adding peripheral vision, you start hooking up to different neural connectivity in the brain where it becomes considered experiential. Mm -hmm. And that's really where all the magic takes place. Okay. So at IMI, we've always been after a 60 degree field of view in a small package so that you have an experience. It's a very uh, compelling uh, reaction of whatever it is, whether it's a game or, or it's training material or whatever it is. So it sounds like that's a differentiating factor. The way you approach, you're considering the end user because you yourself were an end user for the right, uh, for exactly. HMDs or some, yep. some type of immersive experience. Uh, your background, you mentioned Boeing earlier uh, from a conversation we had. Yeah, yeah. So um, we have a tremendous background in the mind sciences and human physiology. So we had developed a technique uh, to break addictions uh -huh. through, an audit, through the auditory cortex. And um, so uh, we were doing that for corporations, helping them reduce uh, healthcare costs. Yeah. And so uh, Boeing asked us to help try to get their time loss accident claims down. And so we added a visual element, this is back in the late 90s. And since we see in 3D, we actually created the 3D HMDs, modified Olympuses back then, and shot 3D film with uh, 3D audio. And uh, really, uh, that was really our foray into the whole HMD space. And uh, so we got to learn as users of them, putting tens of thousands of people through training, what were good about them, what were bad about them, you know, what was good from a physiology standpoint and, and optically and all those things. What are you showing at your booth? Uh, give me an idea of what people are saying when they, when they try it out. Yeah, well, the, being able to have a field of view, our horizontal field of view uh, is the same thing you get out of an Oculus, uh -huh. only you're wearing it in a pair of glasses. Okay. So I think one of the best things that we're showing today is that you you put on the glasses and it shows what the, the Google Glass image looks like. Okay. And you have this small little field of view. Then it goes to like the Epson, which is in the mid-20s. And then we jump up to where Loomis is at, which is probably one of the better uh, systems in our opinion uh, that are out there. They're at about 35 degrees and then it jumps to a full 60 of where we're at. Oh. And uh, so that's pretty fun. So we're showing a pair of glasses uh, for the first time uh, really ever of you know this whole generation and series. So this is the first outing, if you will. Uh, first outing, next 12 months. Where do you see Emmy going? Uh, and what can we expect from you next AWE? Yeah, so where we're headed is um, 
really identifying the critical user type interface. We, you know, these things, you know, whether it's voice or gesture, or you're utilizing a, a slave hookup to it, where you're doing touchpad. Mm. The products we think for large scale adoption require a unique user interface. So we'll be showing that. And then uh, we have auto attenuation, which is also addressable to the outside. So if you're augmented something, you can opaque behind it so that you don't have the ghosting effect. So over the next 12 months, uh, we will be releasing uh, engineering samples to a lot of key customers. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then going into a larger release in Q1 of next year. And so next year when we're here, there'll be a lot of people wearing Emmys. <laughs> nice. Give me some predictions. What do you think in general, the industry, HMDs, what's... What I think it's think absolutely happening? remarkable. I think we are at the cusp of an absolute revolution in yeah. all seriousness. I think that uh, as big an impact as the PC had in the 80s and as the internet uh, and uh, has phone, had or, and our yeah. phones, we're about to see that again, but even in a more profound and fundamental level, because when you take over somebody's eyes and you take over their ears, it's such an intimate experience. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a whole new world, and you're gonna see content creation and uh, uh, just a revolution in, in every field, the way that we learn, the way that we work, uh, and the way that we play. Uh -huh. That's it. Doug is predicting the future. The next revolution is coming, and we're, we're sitting on the cusp. So. That's right. Doug, thanks again. Yeah, you're very welcome. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Kaiser, and with us was Doug Maghiari, CEO of IMI. Thanks.